I know these are outdated, but some of what I've read that's been done to you, four ACL reconstructions, a couple of back surgeries, broken tibia, broken fibia, metal plate holding your left shoulder together, at least 10 blood transfusions. No, I think um, only six blood transfusions. So, yeah. Talk about you're 14, 15 years old, and what happens that nearly killed you. Um, well, bottom line was I didn't go fast enough. <laughs> I mean, it's as simple as that sometimes, but um, everything was feeling good, and there was a big jump on the course, and you know, I wanted to. I went outside the stadium and came through with, I thought, enough speed to jump it and took off, and right away I was like, oh, didn't go fast enough and came up short. And um, Basically, the whole spinal column uh, went through the, the pelvis, shattered the sacroiliac joint, and they ended up having to fuse the, the SI joints together and, you know, almost bled out. Um, that was the third known case in, in medical history to, to have that happen where you didn't bleed out or, or die or whatnot. So definitely lucky and, you know, definitely uh, live a very blessed life in, in that way. But I, in my opinion, I didn't feel like it was lucky. If I was lucky, I would have made the jump like I had intended to and would have kept going. But when I woke up from that, the first thing I thought was, well, can you get this back together so I can try that jump again before they take it down? And you know, it was just, it's part, of, it's part of the sports. And if it's worth it to you, there's no better life. I've heard stories of you still doing stuff that it's like, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I was talking to Andy Bell, and he was telling me about Nitro Circus, May 2010, what happens with your collarbone? Oh, that was bad, yeah. So collarbone, they told me to stay off the, uh, the, the gigantic ramp side. Okay. Basically, they're like, look, we just need, we need you for the motorcycle side. You gotta do a double backflip at the end of this show. I was like, I really wanna try, you know, the 720 that I was trying on a dirt bike, I wanna try on a bicycle. So I talked to one of my friends, Dusty, and to go into the top, and I'm like, let's hit it at the same time. And we had ramps set at distances we had never really hit, and we're like, we can do this. And we both actually landed exactly the same way. I broke my collarbone, and we're both sliding, wind knocked out of us heading there. He's like, how'd it go for you? I'm like, oh, about the same. And then I had to get up, and I wasn't really sure. I was like, I think it's broken, but you know, right then, uh, Cam Sinclair called me out. I was like, double backflip. I was like, right. All right. And I was just thinking on the way up. I'm like, and you knew it was broken, though, pretty much at that point. I knew it was broken, point, but right? I had a plate in there. And I was like, the plate couldn't have broken. Maybe it just bent. Maybe the bone's broken, but the plate's still holding on. And, and I took off, and I just felt the, the collarbone kind of went, and the bike sideways, and I'm pulling around. It's amazing what adrenaline overrides almost any kind of pain that you can have. And I was able to pull the double backflip around and actually did the entire next show and then went home and the plate was broken and the bone was broken all the way through. So what I was feeling was the plate was getting held up on the, on the bone on the top and bottom. But you know, there was enough around that area to kind of support it. So. And what was the purpose of the plate? The metal oh, plate? Because I had broken it before so I had to plate it to. Somebody close to you said that they've never seen anybody that's able to compartmentalize pain to the extent you can. <laughs> How do you do it? It's just what, what needs to be done. I definitely don't have a higher pain tolerance than, than other people, but. What do you mean? <laughs> well, it still hurts. I get a paper cut, I'm like, ow, you know? I mean, stub your toe, you know, it's still the, still the same pain, but when it comes down to it, it's what's worth it. Um, you know, I had, for instance, with, I blew out my ACL and my LCL, and which meant there was no stability, and there's, a, there's an artery that goes um, you know, through there that said basically you can bleed out if, if it does it, and the, so the doctors are like, look, you know, don't do this. And, I couldn't really walk, but I was, I was like, duct tape my knee together. So we, we decided to duct tape the knee together. My mom actually had, had someone get, try to get what, me What off happened of, on the airplane? Yeah, on the airplane, my mom had a security come into the airplane to pull me off the airplane when I was coming to, to LA, because I told her I was gonna see the doctors. And I did, and they told me not to go. So I told her it was fine. She called the doctors, found out that they said, absolutely not, do not go out. So she had security come try to escort me off the plane. And I was like, no, 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 we, we've already gone over this, it's okay. She's like, she told me you'd say that. I was like, wow, my mom's smarter than I think she is. <laughs> but anyway, we went out there, we duct taped my whole knee together so it couldn't bend and uh, couldn't go out literally with duct tape um, to the boot, to the knee brace, and all the way up to the, the top of the leg. And it was basically like a cast and I was able to do the trick and I won the X Games. Did they end up letting you go on the airplane? They did, yes. I was basically, I was like, look, sorry officer, I am over 18 and I have the right to, he's like, all right, hey, your call. How many concussions have you had? I don't remember. Over 25? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean what, 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 do you, what do you really call a concussion? I mean, uh, I, I you, have no idea. Yeah, you see, I mean, there's, there's times when you hit your head and you're just a little dingy. There's times when you're not actually concussed, but you don't remember a little bit of time. And yeah. I mean, do they count or no? It's, I'm just, I'm actually just joking on that. But it's, concussions really scare me. And they're the, they're the thing that I have a few friends that have had knocked themselves out on a daily basis. Not daily, but that's an exaggeration. Regularly, but sure. regularly. And they're still just as normal, just as smart, just as quick as they ever were. And I've had some friends that have had one concussion. And 
you know, they're not the same. So, you know, I don't really think, in my unprofessional opinion, that you know, doctors know a lot about concussions, about the brain. I mean, there's a lot of research being done, but it's basically we try to avoid that at all costs, and that's the one thing that's worse than a broken bone. It's worse than anything. Yeah, I talked to somebody close to you who's just kind of worried for you personally about just like the long-term quality of, of life because of, you know just all the wear and tear and all the injuries you've had how much if at all does that concern you long term oh for sure I mean you know no one in the sports we do are, are stupid in, in the matter that you know if you're in a sport you know there's risks and you know they're, they're looking into football and they're like oh it's a dangerous sport or this and that but you know as much as it is what are the alternative is a real job. We get to travel the world. You know, there's, I keep getting back to, to this, but I have my best friends and the closest group of friends you could ever imagine. And we travel the world and we get to ride dirt bikes and we get to, we get to play. We, our work, maybe one day, maybe two days a week, maybe once a month is what we do for fun every day. And if we don't, if we don't do our, our job, we'll go and we'll pay to do the same job anyway. So uh, for us, I feel like I've lived and experienced more than you know, most people will ever experience in their entire life. And most people go through life trying not to die. I go through my life making sure that I live.